July 2003, trade with Buffalo. Good guys going out and one donkey coming in. What do you remember been, about... Uh, that would have been June, not July. To the, was it June? That would have been June of... No, it was July because it was the start of Stampede. Oh, we're talking about your trade. <laughs> That's oh, the one. I'm, oh, I, I thought Buffalo my trade. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah, the, I, this I get donkey you. comes Sorry, to I, town. I, yeah. My, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and he's going to Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What do you... Uh, oh. Because, yeah. again, you look back, and Rhett will tell you that uh, he's responsible for uh, all playoff success, but... There was Save the Flames. He, he talked you, about it. You had not played in the playoffs up nope. until that point. Nope. Warner comes in. Sutter is here. Kiprasov looks like he's pretty good. Yeah. That was, in hindsight, a big turning point for all you guys. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, young team, younger team, uh, great goaltender. You know, getting Mika was, was massive. Um, you know, some really good pieces, uh, skill, Jerome. The one, Jerome, Jerome the one that of, I uh, always, uh, and that is underestimated in my opinion from fans and, and pundits, speed. Yeah. We had a young team, but we had fast guys like Chris Clark, yeah. Lombo, McCammon, Donovan. Donovan. Well, well, I think you, you realize after like, talking to opponents that uh, had come into the Saddle Dome and, uh, you know, Daryl was harping on us for... For identity and the identity we wanted to play play with and and uh it was hard to play against you know come out fast four check physical and just pressure 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 be be responsible defensively um but just go after teams and pound them and and we did that and, and i talked to multiple players after and they said we hated coming to calgary because we knew you guys would just come out and and forecheck yep. us and run us and and if we were winning we we usually just fight them because we had a tough team uh too and so really like okay you yeah. you want to you want to beat us like we'll beat you up too like in that way like and there were some yeah. we had some great guys that that way too so um it was uh it was fun like it was fun hockey that way because you know that the the level level of energy um uh, in the with the team and in the in the building started uh started increasing from those first few years when i was there to um you know then qualifying for the playoffs in game 80 i think it took us to qualify for the playoffs playing the teams that we wanted to play you know daryl had had meetings with us regularly who do we who do you want to match up against um we want vancouver in the first round we think we match up well against him he agreed with us that's who we want we want vancouver in the first round and all that like he's Daryl under like he's got his limitations, but he's very good at understanding the game and also for like matchups and forecasting and who who do we think to to match up with and then and then even more granulars your line like okay I loved it when he came to me and said okay Robin you and uh jordan or you and and jay or whoever i was playing with you guys have to go out and shut down that line tonight you're playing against them like it was a personal challenge that he he would put out to you and i loved it like that was and, and i just felt like i responded best to to that i like playing in a structured game for a structured coach uh, i played later on for unstructured coach and struggled like but that's what what I liked, and and we kind of started to build momentum that way, and and mo with momentum comes belief in what you're doing, and I think you kind of saw that, and and we had a good group of veteran players, but also some leaders that had been to the playoffs and had been to the finals, and all those ingredients were were important. Yeah, you can't pick one or the other and say because you're not the same without. You miss yeah. you could take one out of the room and you miss a lot of it. So yeah. It was it was a good group. I think still the Kiprasoft the trade is what solidified us in how yeah, we could play. without having a, a goaltender like that, yeah. Uh there there's no way we our team goes anywhere near uh, a run a run like that. Like he was he was a phenomenal competitor. Like he was I've never seen a guy be able to, to turn it on and off in a practice like that. Like there were times where he didn't want to practice and you could tell like he was for whatever reason. Uh, but 
but someone embarrassed them in practice and like they wouldn't score the rest of the practice. Uh, it happened in a game. Like I saw it. I, we're at, we're we had their rookie party in St. Louis, Saint right? Louis and one was St. Awesome. Louis rookie party, and we're out late and and that. And but the next day in practice, like uh, Jim Playfair or some coach was okay, line everyone up because he knew like, we, we. And so we're sweating it out, and he lines everyone up on the goal line, and it's okay. Whoever's out till midnight, uh, down and back. The whole team goes down and back. Uh, whoever's out till one, right now. Okay, now there's less guys going. Uh, who's ever out past two there yeah, even less who's ever out past three even less and then next thing you know who's ever out past four five like and pretty much it's just mika skating back and forth right and then and we're all laughing and then he's like well whoever smoked a pack of smokes and down all then mika bowed down and back like you know like it was it was hilarious right but the, we played um we played i think it was the day after and i forget who it was that was in the high slot and just turned around and like kind of fanned on a shot, didn't go off the ice. And it went right through Mika's legs. And it was like a good second or two after it I went in that he just like moved. I like, remember it because yeah. I was on the bench and I remember looking and I'm like, how he didn't, he thought the puck had left the yes, zone. Like, I'm like, he <laughs> had, had no clue until, until after. And I looked over at Noodles on the bench after that. I'm, and Noodles was looking scared, right? Yeah, you oh, might boy, have to go better, in. Better, might have to go in. The thing is, like, that completely embarrassed Mika. Like, and no one had to say anything to him or anything like that. They didn't score, I don't think, the rest of the no. game. Like, he was just lights out like, the yeah. rest of the game. He's yeah. like, man, I got I to gotta get, get yeah. going here. That was the way he was. Like, he was so competitive and had that, that pride that... Uh, you know, yeah, did he have his, his issues? Yeah, he did. But when it came down to playing and wanting to win and competing, he was Yeah, awesome. I'll call his issues vices. Okay. He had his vices. Yeah. <laughs>